This video is brought to you by Gladiator Concealment and S4 Tactical Gear. Links are in the description box below. Alright, what's up guys? It's Michael and Kyle with AKM Tactical. We appreciate y'all watching. I want to take a few minutes today and talk to y'all about the new uh, Velcro backed holster from Gladiator Concealment. Um, this thing is really cool. Manny sent it to us. I don't know, how long we had these things? We've been running them for a few months. Yeah, we've had them a while. And uh, he wanted us to kind of try them out, see what we thought about them, and uh, before he released them out into the public. They're available now on his website, but um, let's just get into it, man. Uh, they're really, really cool. The way that they're designed, take that, and see if we can get in here kind of close. Uh, they're just a, a flat back that's completely covered in Velcro. And uh, this is the hook Velcro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he gives you a piece of loop, and uh, you just take it and put that piece of loop or however many pieces of loop, wherever you want to put them, and the holster just sticks to it. Um, we had a guy... Uh, ask about the retention. The retention is all in the front. I don't know if you can see that, but the retention is all in the front here at the trigger guard, where it's supposed to be anyhow. Right. Um, so you, when you when you insert your gun, you get that good pop that you expect, and I mean the gun's not going to come out. So um, you're not going to have the same lower retention you would in an IWB holster because it's not up pressed between your body that's right. and a belt. Right. Um, but it's it's still adequate. I mean, a lot of you guys probably run outside the waistband. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. the retention is not going to be any different. Yeah. So. I mean, it, it, but you also get that really good smooth draw that you you kind of have come to expect from Gladiator concealment products, yeah. and uh, and it works really 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 well. Um, there's a lot of different uses that this thing can have too. Yeah, the thing is 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 completely modular as far as like mounting a holster, you know in places um this was meant for like home defense for your vehicle yep um and the beauty of it is it's not a permanent mount that's right um you know you slap your velcro on you mount it and uh for me uh maybe michael too um i mount mine right underneath my steering wheel yep when i get to where i'm going take it off lock it up in a lock box and when I get back in the truck, boom, got it right there. Yeah, and the thing is, this system can go anywhere with you. So, let's say that you are, uh, y'all got to forgive me, I kind of got the sniffles. But uh, let's say that you, you use this one gun as your car gun, your home defense gun, all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, you can take this thing when you pull up at the house, pull it off of there, have your piece of uh, Velcro stuck somewhere, maybe under a table beside your couch or maybe somewhere in your bedroom. You know, you can stick it up under that table by your couch. you got your gun right there by you. You can go to bed. You can stick it right up on there, and then you've got it right there where you can get a hold of it. Um, what I would like to see maybe is, a, is eventually some light-bearing options come out in it. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, that would be awesome for a home defense setup to have a light-bearing gun because we always advocate having a light on your gun for home defense and to have this with a light bearing holster set up and you could just bam and there it is if you need to grab it you can grab it and go another use for this guys and and we're not gonna use it in this manner but um you know if if, if you carry off body yeah. and you carry in a bag yep um this is perfect for yep. mounting inside of a bag yep um you you know or if you have a go bag yep. that has the gun in it yep um you can mount it in your go bag um you know perfect for that um you know, also, you know, if you're going to travel I and mean, you yep. want to mount, you want the, the gun to be, you don't want the holster moving around yep. in your bag, mount it there. Yeah, Vertex actually makes a bag that's got, um, it's got loop Velcro inside of it. 
so this thing would just stick right into that bag. I think uh, I think Manny at Gladiator, I think he actually took a picture with his Vertex bag with this setup in it. So uh, another thing that you can use this for that uh, we, I actually discussed with Manny, he was telling me how he kind of uses his sometimes, is if you're driving a long distance in the vehicle, right? Yeah. And, uh, and and anybody that drives long distance in a vehicle knows that it can be very uncomfortable to carry a gun driving long distance. Uh, you can take your gun, your whole setup off, take the gun out, stick it in this holster, and then it's very easy to grab and get a hold of, and uh, you know it's more comfortable for you. Now, people are going to argue that you shouldn't do that. You know, that's neither here nor there. Uh, you unholster a loaded firearm every time you go to the range and practice. Yeah. If you are safe, there's nothing wrong with, with taking this out, putting it in this holster, and being done with it. You might uh, you unholster it every time you go home. I mean, uh, yeah. you know, some people, Jaeger takes his out of his holster and puts it in the safe, and then, you know, whenever he it, it, he uses it as a practice you yeah. know, run. So. Yeah, I mean, there, yeah, there's nothing wrong with unholstering a loaded firearm. It's just doing it in a safe manner. So uh, the way that I have it set up for me personally is uh, I, I keep this gun in it all the time. This is an old Glock 19 that I have. I keep this gun in it all the time. And uh, it stays in the truck like he does, uh, locked up. And then whenever I get in the truck, I mount it up under my steering wheel, and then I can get a hold of it. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do some footage here in just a minute about that, showing you how we have that set up and the different ways you can use it. But uh, it's a really versatile uh, really cool idea. There's not really a lot of companies out there doing this. It solves uh, it solves some problems. Yeah, um, we're all about solving problems. Yeah, uh, and this solves the uh, the gun and the vehicle equation. Yeah, um, carrying. You know, if you guys follow us on on Instagram, you know I've been carrying appendix um, for about a month now, and uh, carrying appendix is easier to to in the vehicle. Um, I think we could definitely use some CQB type. Yeah training um, for sure but uh, just you know naturally getting to your gun up front is easier in the vehicle but uh, for you guys that carry the five or the three this really solves that equation for the vehicle yeah, yeah. absolutely absolutely uh, I think price point on these is, is like 50 or 55 dollars somewhere around in there don't quote me for sure on that maybe a little cheaper uh, maybe a little more I don't know but I, it's around the 50 55 dollar range if I remember right and uh, you'll get the holster and you'll get some extra uh, loop velcro and you can just kind of stick that stuff in different places it's 5M, and, huh? yeah yeah it's good it's good uh good industrial strength loop velcro so uh don't try to get get skimp on the cheap stuff go ahead and buy the good stuff and uh and be done with it but uh thing works great uh we'll, we'll cut to it and show you some stuff in the truck all right guys so this is this is how it is mounted into the truck if if you can't see this if i go back and edit and you can't really see it i'll roll in some um some photos so you can kind of see exactly what's going on here but it's just a piece of velcro mounted to my truck and i can just mount it just like that uh the really cool thing about it is is uh if i have to get out of the vehicle i can just undo it and uh flip this compartment up can you see all that yeah, go ahead. Flip this compartment up, stick it right there to that, close it up, and then it locks. That locks, yeah, that's a lot. So, lock. so the the firearm is always locked up if I'm not in the vehicle with it. So that's that's always a good thing. But um, very versatile piece of kit, uh, works great, holds the gun the way I want it to hold it, and uh, and it sits right there. And I've drove down the road with it, never had anything happen. It's never fell off or anything like that. So. Uh, all right, guys, so now we're going to show you, uh, I'm going to just kind of show you how you can get this gun out and not have to worry about it. You know, the problem is, I'm going to put my seatbelt on. The problem is a lot of times if you have to draw your firearm, the one you're carrying, I'm carrying a Glock 26 right now. This would be how I'm normally driving. You know, I've got my console down and all that. I have to try to fight my shirt, even if you pre pre-stage your shirt, okay? I have to try to fight the seat belt, my shirt, getting a hold of the gun, I have to shift my body weight, get the gun out, and try to safely get it out and get it into the fight. Uh, by having a gun there mounted, all I have to do is, let's say my foot's up here on the gas, reach and grab it just like this, come straight back into myself, and then meet and press out. 
I don't ever flag myself. I don't ever flag anybody around me. Now I know if I had to engage from back here, if I had to engage straight behind me or whatever, it might be a little different scenario, but that is then that comes into turning your body. But um it's really nice uh, set up. I don't have to worry about flagging myself. There again, I just grab, come straight back, come straight out. So, or press out, whichever way I got to go with the gun. But um, I, I really like the setup. It's easy to reholster. It stays where it's supposed to. It doesn't come out. Uh, you guys need to really check it out. If you're interested in something, a, a dedicated holster for your car, uh, check out Gladiator Concealment. They got, it solves they got a, a lot of equations, guys, and a lot of problems that we have in the vehicle. Yep, absolutely. All right, guys, so in case you haven't noticed, I'm by myself and I'm in a different location. Uh, we had some problems with our camera. This is a new camera that we're using, and um, we actually, uh, there were some right speed issues, and, and we had to end up, we had, because of time and stuff, we had to stop filming that day, and I had to get a faster SD card. But anyways, I don't want to bore you with all the details. We're back up. The camera's going, working well, doing what it's supposed to do. But Kyle couldn't be here with me to finish up this review, so I'm going to finish it up. But, um, you know, everything that we see said in the previous day of shooting uh, is 100% truth about this holster. We can't speak highly enough about this holster, this Velcro backed holster from uh, the Manny over at Gladiator Concealment. Um, it does exactly what you want it to do and it's so versatile and just uh, the things that you can do with it and the different places you can put it. Uh, I can't speak highly enough about uh, Manny and, and the product that he puts out. I have paid good money from some of the high-end holster companies out there and um, what you would consider the popular guys out there and uh, and Manny's doing it right he really is um, but anyways guys we, I don't really have anything else to say to you uh, as always we appreciate y'all watching uh, you know what to do like share and subscribe if you have any questions or comments uh, you can leave them in the comment section below but you can always jump over to the Facebook page we always get into a more in-depth in conversation there uh, we'll also provide links to uh, Manny our other sponsor uh, David S4 and all of our social media outlets in the description box below but anyways, guys, we appreciate y'all watching, and y'all be safe.